Hey, what's up guys? It's Ryan Share here with PCDJ Dex3. This is the Dex3 quick tip on how you can use color coding options, your color coding buttons here, uh, to you know color code specific types of files. If you want all your karaoke files a specific color or all your video files a specific color, you can do that. And that's the purpose of this video here today. So in order to prepare Dex3 for this, you're going to want to dump your entire collection into the database. So scan your external hard drive, scan your parent folder where all your subfolders and media files reside, audio, video, karaoke, scan them all into the database. And when it's fully populated, uh, as everyone already probably already knows, you've got your library filters here uh, on the left-hand side of the browser, right above the navigation pane, you have audio, video, karaoke, and all. By pressing one of those library filters, it ensures that what that what you're seeing here within whatever group you're in, in my case, obviously the database, you're only now looking at audio files. So if I click video, I'm only seeing my video files in my database. Karaoke, only karaoke. So this affords us an opportunity to only highlight those tracks because they're being filtered. Uh, and you can do that by, um, I'll show you right here. We'll use karaoke as an example because we get this question a lot from KJs how they can quickly identify a karaoke track without using a library filter. So I'm going to press karaoke. So now I know right here, these are all my karaoke tracks. What I'm going to do is click on the very top track in the list, go to the very bottom of the list, just grab the little scroll bar, go to the bottom of the list, hold down your shift key on your keyboard and click the bottom track. So now I've highlighted all the karaoke tracks within the database due to having the karaoke filter applied. So now I can click one of these color code options. I'll click orange. So now all tracks and wherever these tracks appear, whether it's a favorited folder or a list or anything of the sort, they're going to be color coded. It color codes everything that's been added to the internal database and the database list from that point forward. So it'll keep this color code. So now if I go back to all and scroll through my list, you can see, you know, my karaoke tracks are going to show an orange. There we go. And that's it. So it's just another quick way you can color code your tracks to identify if it's a specific media format, uh, in this case, karaoke in my example. But you can do it for other reasons, you know, your hottest tracks, you know, your, your uh, you know, floor fillers, if you will, and that kind of thing. So uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. Thanks.